Welcome to John Talks Trumpet. I'm John Kaplan, and today we're going to get into an initial impressions and unboxing of the new Book of Solos, published by Price & Co. Publishing and edited by Michael Wilkinson. Let's get into it. So actually, this book was only $36 with free shipping, um, and it says it has 30 solos inside, so I'm actually really excited to check this out. Okie dokie. Book of Solos. Carefully unwrap. Ooh, all right. First of all, first thing I see that I love is that it's got this great spiral binding. I mean, anytime I get a book that I'm gonna use a lot that doesn't have spiral binding on it, really a turn off because it, over time, the binding gets totally destroyed and ruined by repeated attempts to keep the book open on a certain page. So that saves me a ton of trouble right there. Again, really nice, the spiral binding, you can just leave it nice and flat. So along one side of the screen here, I'm gonna put all of the solos that come in this book. It's truly astonishing how many there are. This book could be really good for any student trumpet player, any professional trumpet player. I mean, I have some of these solos, but not even close to all of them. And to buy each of them individually would be, uh, I'm not sure what value I'll put it over here, um, but $36 for 30 solos that I'm seeing here, pretty unbelievable deal. Um, I'll be very interested to see what the piano accompaniment parts look like when they get released. I think they're gonna be done really soon. I'm gonna ask about that. Let's see here. Uh, of course, Michael Wilkinson is the principal trumpet of the Pittsburgh Symphony. Um, great guy, I took a lesson with him once while he was playing in the Houston Symphony and uh, he really had a lasting impact on me. One thing that's actually really important that he mentions here in his editor's notes is that it's important to listen to the recommended recordings on bookofsolos.com slash trumpet dash recordings. Critical listening, he says, is a crucial element of development and should be done regularly with the best quality headphones or speakers one can find. Wow, okay, so the very first thing in the book is the Arvins, Fantasy and Variations of the Carnival of Venice. Looks really, really nice compared to the old Arvin version. First off, text is a lot bigger, a lot easier to see, beautiful typeset. Something that I noticed with this book right away is actually the quality of the paper in the book. This appears to be like 24 stock paper, but I love a nice thick paper. I like to make my personal audition booklets spiral bound at Kinko's with this thick group paper because it holds up over time. Really enjoying the editor's notes from Micah and throughout this book. Um, Emer Schneller, wow, okay. Was Herna German? Yes, he was. Thanks, Micah. The quality of the engraving is top notch. I mean, I'm looking at the way that the music is spaced apart and the notes appear. There is no confusion here. You can see each note really clearly. You can see each articulation really clearly. There's no funny line breaks. There's no funny page turns. Everything has been thought out and planned for. One thing I would note about this book is that it's not like the Fitzgerald collection or other solo collections where it's meant to be a group of easy or progressive solos. This is 30 solos that are actual major repertoire for the trumpet and cornet. The solos in this book can be used well for recitals, solo contests, college placement exams, summer festival, youth orchestra auditions, pretty much anything you can think of. All the pieces that they included are based in the public domain, but the edits, cadenzas, and commentary are their own material and give you a lot more value than just using the free IMSLP versions. I have to mention that I'm not being compensated for producing this video. I'm just a big fan of the product, and I appreciate the work that went into such a great resource for trumpet players. Overall, this book is an excellent value. The spiral binding, high quality paper, the breadth of repertoire, and thoughtful editorial editions make it a great purchase for any serious trumpet player. Thanks to the folks at Book of Solos and to Micah for their hard work. Links to their website in the description where you can find both the Book of Solos for Trumpet as well as their already available Book of Solos for Trombone. This is actually my first video. 
So it would really mean a lot to me if you'd like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content, and I would like to see more. Thanks.